last pick Alchemist. As soon as they saw that the Mirana was going to be mid, doing a little taunt in the mid lane as well, kind of showing themselves as they head towards that top room, but Alliance? I mean, it looks like the Alliance yeah. are ready to fight for this. Shell's already down, they get the roll in on Terry, skills up the level one Rage, trying to fight back, punching in to Limp. Oh, no. Telekinesis onto the Alchemist, dragging him back. Error's already incredibly low though. Held in position by Fortune's and Alliance to round him, and they'll take first blood with that one. Securing the Alchemist, that early farm in CS. He's top of the CS right now. Yeah, two minutes in, but making sure Alch yeah. actually gets that level one CS. This could be a lovely room for Hanskin. Turns up to top with the Invis already. The double Iron Shell's biting down onto Yap, so he tries to roll forward Hanskin, but he gets caught up by the Telekinesis stun, held back. The body blocks from Error, but Jonas and fans surge his pass, finishes off the Rubik. Yeah, Error at the moment, just trying to get what he can in from the side pool. Hans can still with eyes on him, but yeah, Absol's coming across that as well. Bottom lane, Lotus being stunned up. He's yeah. in trouble. Trixie's closed in, Sinner and chasing him down as well. And he's going to fall incredibly low. And uh, he's actually get blocked up by the creeps, so the next Ignite follows through. We're nearly finishing off Sinner return. It won't quite happen yet. Maybe EGM can finish the deal. He will find the kill in return, but they've lost Loader. Let's see if they can find this Trixie level 3 Barrow Strike. He's got the range on it, immediately jumping in under the tower, charging up the Epi. Nothing to cancel it. He's going to be in a lot of trouble, but the magic get protection given out from EGM means Lotus survives. Drops down the cooldown, turns around onto Yapsaw, and now a great stun from Hanskem. Rolling forward as well. Alliance turn around the smoke, take two kills, and all there really, just EGM getting the Fate Seedic down, meaning the epicenter does literally nothing to the Gyra. Once this game gets a blink dagger, but there's still a bit of time, a bit of a window where Alliance have a mech and there's no blink still on tank. being cooked up. Uh, do you get the stun onto Era? Escape gaming. They have four heroes though to back up. Jonas and Van coming in with the two man vacuum wall. Cool down from Loden. He's looking to move in for the fight. They'll get the good stun and lockdown onto Cinder and he'll be the first to fall on escape. And they'll also get Koikva as well. Big plays there from the Earth Spirit. Really hurt him in mid lane. Era. Era as well. Not raging before the stun comes through. It was a Shadow Blade initiation. Ah, I, I, coming, yeah. yeah, it's. But again, Alliance, they're grouped up. They seem slightly prepared for this one. You've got to watch out for EGM. If they can catch EGM out, they might have a chance. And indeed, this is going to be a great first drive from Trixie. But he already got the face he dicked out onto Limp, so Limp's going to be fine. The call out from Loda, catching out all four. They're focused in on Hans Kebros through. The vacuum, the wall's there. Alliance, they've taken three. They're going to chase down Error. They're almost certainly going to get a fourth out of this as well as he's silenced up. They do have the Moonlight. Do they have the Vision? It looks like they don't, so Error will be fine. But three for one. They've scattered themselves. They've left the dominated centaur in the pit. Let's see what kind of return they can get in the going, but immediately watch EGN's position. He's there with the fate seed. Again, false promise onto Lim, helping them to turn it around. Loader comes through with the magnetizer as well from Hansken. Escape gaming forced to back up. They've already lost Yap, so they lose Trixie as well. Alliance finding two and moving in for more, surrounding Cinderin. They'll take down a third. Forcing the mid high ground, but they've actually got two heroes gunning for the top lane, and this who's has error by surprise. Uh, really clear. He does have race TP, but if he's caught up by a stun and a silence, he's not going to get a chance to do that at all. And immediately, a perfect pick off there from Jonas and Fan. One dead life stealer, one taken melee racks, and they're going to turn it around, perhaps look oh, to catch sneaky. him by surprise. And they'll get error before he gets the chance to rage off. Wars oh, drop down as so well brutal. and immediately ripped out. Cinderin as well to fall. Alliance clean up the mid lane, and they're just going to call it escape. It's yep. all too much. Alliance with an absolutely fantastic opening to this land, 24 to six in game one. We'll see if they get to continue it for the rest of the series, but they have got to be happy with their play there. Yes. Roll yeah. and load on the safe lane, Sven. But, uh, you could zone him level one, but once you've decided to start with the ET mid and the Ogre bottom, you're committed to giving that Dark Seed level to fire. TP down from EGM, immediately looks to fall into position, following through on the Stormhammer onto Trixie. Trixie in a bit of trouble here. Back up, but it's not going to be enough in Alliance. They'll find themselves first blood. See if they can get anything more out of this one. Indeed, surrounding Cinder and with the stomp loaded, jukes out the sleep very nicely. And just surrounding him, coming from found the tower. There we do have it, just coming up in time. I mean, that actually might have saved him. He just had enough mana there as it ticked up for that Blade Fury, but still with a wraparound from Limp, he loses his life. They have lost the Slada, but with the chase down onto Trixie, Alliance will look to make sure that this trade, a two for one, favoring them. Logan's probably just going to farm this right away, but Trixie, yeah, in the neighborhood. He is around, and of course, he'll be happy to set something up for a Stone Strike. He'll let Loda. Let's pull a little bit low to the ancients. There we go, coming in, but of course, the EGM, sorry, Hanskin, of course, game two there on the Oracle this time around with the save. False promise. Alliance, but let's see if they can turn. An ult comes through from the Amazon. And with that, they've actually found Loader. They'll get EGM and Hansken. Even though he had the Warcry and wasn't taking much physical damage, the Sunstrike is just such high single target attack. burst. Renaissance fan. 
He's going to be caught out as well. I mean, Sims and Trixie, they'll look to take him. He has the mech. It will buy him some time to get out. Looks like he will just survive. Now for the turnaround, EGM. Sprinting forward, look for Sin Danyap, so in the sidelines, just a crush onto the Elder Titan, a quick turnaround for Sin, and now Era turning up to the fight as well. He does have Omni Slash available for this one. Just using the Blade Fury to clear out the creeps, moving across. Lodi gets the Storm Hammer onto Trixie, but there's no follow through damage. EGM tries to come in for a crush. He's not going to make it. Era with the Omni Slash bringing Loder down low, looking to chase him out. Loder with the War Cry, trying to get himself away. He will just get himself out in time. Oh, dude, no, no, oh, Is that oh, going to take him out? It's going to be close, no. Okay. The save's there. <laughs> Despite the fact that took them a good two and a half minutes to take just a range rack, so it's ultimately a, a worthwhile exchange for them. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Looking for initial harassment onto Limp. We've got Trixie there. Right now the stunner, Andy. Whoa, hey, K, he's got. Great compel. That Trixie, is a DK man. out for 50 seconds. Limp to hit the sidelines. Didn't use the BKB. I guess he's underestimating the the, the burst and. And that one side, just the lock goes through, but here's the combo that they were looking for. They get the vacuum, the wall, the crush, loaded with the damage, but immediately just held back by the stun. The multicast from Sin Loader held in place. He can't get the damage out. But the solo crest on him as well. Ooh. He will finally get a punch on the Koifer, but the rest of his hits were just missing. He'll buy back. As Alliance losing three, the Invoker kill was a big one, but they need more than that. Loader do anything here. He doesn't have God strength. Jumps in, has the vision onto Trixie. Looking to finish off the Nyx Assassin. Will find one sin with the Fire Blast onto EGM. EGM's out. It's a triple kill for Error as he, he moves on, melee. finishing the melee rack. Jonas and Fan Loader starting to punch into him. But a good sleep from Yap. Still in the Radiant jungle, so they're near ish by. Jonas is actually just going to ditch the bottom they can lane. Get and, back. Yeah, yep. Jonas is ignoring bottom and coming back to Contessa Road. They can get there in time. But if you see this in your escape, you may just fall out of the pit and try and, and wait for bottom to push. And Axonix Assassin is going to be something pretty pretty great for defending the pit. Limp just waltzes in here, looking to try and kick it off, get the vision. Trixie still staying underneath the cover of the burrow. And that's moving forward and getting the dragon tail onto Sin. It's a very split up fight though, as we can see escape game and pretty much surrounding Alliance. They all split up. Eric jumps in with the Omni Slash. Hands get false, promising himself here. Face he on to, to Loader, trying to heal him back up, but Trixie already under. They did get the Amplify out in time, though, so this allows them to kill the Nyx Assassin. Got Koifa too. Um, yeah, so holding Loader back, they have found Koifa. Can they get themselves anything more already? It's going to be a pretty good fight. Poor Lies, the crush onto Yap, so they found themselves a third. They might not be done yet either. Hera could be in trouble as well. Blinks away. That could be just a little too far to chase, but they'll They've take that Alliance, taking three heroes They've down. They've damage. They can take Roche. Here we go, ready for the jump up. Alliance look for the chase down. PKB pop by Jonas have found. They'll look to focus Trixie first. Trixie burrows up. Will finally be taken down almost only by Lotus damage. Indeed, that's the first kill for Alliance. Limp chasing down Yapsaw. The healing ward's out. They probably want to take that down. And they do indeed. Limp gets the touch on. So each end being focused by Cinder and Hans Hanskens there with the backup heals. They'll surround Yapsaw. Alliance take down a second. EGM still gets another crush out, and with the heals from Hansken, EGM is going to be fine. And Alliance looking to find themselves a third kill in this team fight, and they will get it with a vacuum back from Jonas and Fan. Gem on Jonas and Fan. So they do have to be a little bit careful with how they initiate with the, uh, the Invoker, but in fact, well, Loder is headed up to the high ground, getting caught out with the Omni so Slash as well. Loder's down, and he's out for 90 seconds. No buyback. This could be the end of game two, potentially, for Alliance. Era yep. chasing down Hanscan, quite for blinking forward. Looking to see if they can find anything more out of this, but they've lost two Alliance. It's just going to be a question how the, the best of the three of these guys can hold the base against the full five man of escape. It's going to be hard, it's going to be tough. Wolves drop, BKB's out from Lim. Trying to force them away, EGM keeping their attention outside of the base, but he's out. And as we're seeing, just a, a little bit of a show here from Escape Gaming as they chase down Lim with the Diffusal Blade. They find the Dragon Knight as well. On to the Tier 4, so GG is called. At the end of the day, Escape Gaming just making the better decisions, outplaying them. For, for pulling out the apps or Pudge this game is up top. You can, you can certainly see why he's decided to go to lane rather than straight to jungle. Mid lane. Ooh, toss in, the app is in a bit of trouble here. Takes one tower here. Another toss is coming soon. Yeah, closes in and that'll be a kill surely yes it is indeed final punch to the back comes in courier Limp's level seven and does pose a bit of a threat, but... Yeah, could look for a good hook here. Radiant's yeah, Hanske coming in as well, but... Escape Gaming have a lot of numbers. Immediate hook to bring Hanske away from Limp. Trixie looking to focus the IO first, but they have lost indeed quite for a trade. The Lions will be fine with. And Lions could maybe chase down for more with the Ignite. Acting onto Yapso, he's looking to hide himself immediately. 
Lim says, get the hell out of here. And we'll see if uh, they can do anything about stopping Eliza's retreat. Uh, Yapsor is there on the front and all oh, loader. Tries for the TP, but Yapsor's there ready and waiting with the dismember to hold him back. The healing ward's still out, but Loder surrounded by Escape Gaming, and he gets punished for that play with Trixie. That's a fair bit of income out, but it, it's a lot of ancients to take. Oh, oh that's a great goal, though. Immediately dropped down onto Yosef Van and EGM. Alliance have lost two. Lim's coming in, trying to clear out Stinny. Will find it with the Omni Slash as well from Loder. They've found a second, but still, they're standing strong Escape Gaming. They'll punch down onto Lim. They've found three, and they'll go back to clearing out these ancients. They'll certainly take that one, Escape Gaming. A very nice fight. Quick reactions there. Maybe it was Dyer's the bottom tower has under Oh, oh okay, they're profit. looking to, to maybe get the bottle off Hansken and refuel it. But, oh, limp corner in the tree line. Hansken not a chance to relocate him out in time. Yes. Yes. Finding the pick well, it, it'll, it'll fill up his bottle now. <laughs> he'll have to take his last final few sips before hitting the decks, though, because Escape will be ready to pound into the little blue ball. Hard and take down another. Really weird four. game because this, this Shadow Blade is so value for Koikva. Koikva. No, they never have detection. He's going straight for Hansken yeah. and Hansken has gone a very easy quick pick off oh. and now Limp's on his own. Limp, he does have Blink, he does have Pots. Yapsor can hit the hook right. again. Yapsor finds Limp in the tree line. Absolutely perfect. That's the kind of game winning plays that. Oh, he had a one. Uh, they did, he's waiting for the IO to respawn as well. Jonas is trying to push yeah, out the lane. set of racks in. I mean, one Rax is not the end of the game. Loader jumps in with the Omni Slash. There's a Hex onto Koi for Koi for being the main focus. Boots to travel coming in on top of him. They're looking for bringing the back up with a good combo from Lim. Oh, the Golem coming out and trying. Koi for is going to survive for the time being. Getting out. Lim has managed to clear them out once. They're a falling low. Finally taken down. Trixie very low as well. On the front of it, Loader hold back by a Fire Blast, but already escaped. Getting the lost two. Sooner he's going to fall as well. Alliance take down a third. To cost them the buyback. Oh, they got the hex. Oh, that's big. They've not only found three, they've found Koifer. Error no with buyback. the buyback. Yapsor trying to run himself away, but it looks like they'll be able to chase him down as well as a triple kill for Limp is picked up. In total, three buybacks being used there by Escape Gaming. profits in bottom. The, the rat is in full action. He's going for the melee bottom while Tiny's going for the top. Jonas and Fan drawing Koifer's attention away. Koifer's going to be able to close the gap. They're going to try and go for the kill here. Koifer. Opening fire onto the Nature's Prophet. Jonas and Pan falling low and falling down. They've lost the MP. He's down for 100 seconds. No buyback available for him. Oh, I would say it would have been game, but that would have been a big kill. I mean, they are pushing him very hard mid lane, Escape Gaming. They are up to up to the racks now in the oh, mid lane. Yeah. Yapsor has been left behind. And it'll take a bit of... He may even survive this. He's up on top. They've got a stun to catch him out. They haven't. Yapsor's out. And mid lane, Escape Gaming taking down the mid racks, moving on to the tier fours. You gotta buy back, you gotta get yourselves in. It's going to be the base race. They're trying for the tier fours here, Alliance pushing on, but it looks like they're pushing a little bit faster from his gate. They found a tier four, but the hex is there for Jonas to find. BKB pop by Trixie, tries for the cool limb, pops the Manta style, turns around, just starts to pummel back into them. That's Alliance should be able to get these kills. They take down Trixie. Error falling low as well. He's out. There'll be two buybacks coming out immediately, already back in the base. They've lost one tier four on Escape Gaming side. They're almost gonna go lose a second. The Ancient is exposed on Escape Gaming's half of the map. Beautifully done. They're at the throne. You mentioned it. Oh dear. Looking to finish the game. Can Sin stop this? It doesn't look like he can. Lim trying to hold in. He's got relocated back out to the south. Loader left alone here. But he looks to just try and pummel into the side. Get himself away. Escape Gaming could get this kill though. Loader's in a lot of trouble. They're surrounding him. He gets caught out by the Dragon Tail. Loader to fall. But already the tree is just hammering down onto the turn. It's EGM! It's the Ogre that's looking to finish it off here. Can he do it with the great EGM and Hansken? The two to finish off the throne. The two that you least expect to as well. And they've only just gone and done it here. Alliance winning game three, winning the first series here at the Dream App, Dream League, Ace Society, Land Finals.